Hi, welcome to Financial Freedom Hub, the online tutorial for personal finance and investment and other things you need to learn about personal finance. We've been looking at a number of things and we've been learning a lot about finances, how to take charge of our personal finances. And in this uh, new series that we become financial literacy, I've been taking you through one of the basic investment opportunities that is treasury bills. And so we've looked at a number of things. And in this video, we are looking at uh, two of the 10 years. Now, we, in the previous videos, we look at the fact that there are different 10 years of investment for treasury bills. We have the 91 days, we have the 182 days, and then the 364 days. The tenure is simply the duration for the maturity of your treasury bills or the T-bills. That's simply what we mean by the tenure. So we have three tenures basically, but the commonest ones are the 91 days and the 182 days. And so if somebody is entering into treasury bills investment and the person wants to choose between the tenures, what should inform the person as to which of the 10 years to look at? Sometimes maybe you are looking at the duration. Maybe you want it within the shortest possible time. Sometimes you are looking at profitability. So if you are in my shoes and you are looking at which of them will yield you the highest profit within a given time, then you have to know what is involved and then choose wisely. So we are going to be looking at the, the profitability of the 91 days and the 182 days the 91 days is basically three months and the 182 days is basically six months so we are comparing the profitability of the 91 days and the 182 days 10 years of t bill the question is which is more profitable is it the 91 days or the 182 days t bill and so that is what i'll be showing you in this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel just click on the subscribe and then turn on the notification so that when we publish any of the videos you will be alerted our videos are very educative they teach you on personal finance investment and other interesting subject that has to do with your financial freedom so welcome again to the channel let's get in and look at it so we are looking at the 91 days so once you look at the table here i've broken it down and then we are going to look at the various things so the tenure that is the the duration for the maturation of your T-bill, so the 91 days. And then the principal is the amount you are going to invest in, and then the interest rate that is going to turn up on your invested amount, and then the expected interest you will earn on that principal, and then the total, that is the principal plus the expected interest, that gives you the total amount. And so in the previous video, I showed you that you could buy uh, treasury bills on your mobile phone with your MTN Momo account, Ecobank T bill for all platform. You can just do that. And so, in this, we are just looking at the profitability of the 91 days and then the 182 days, which one is more profitable. So, let's get in and then look at it. So, the principal amount is the amount you want to invest to start with, and then the interest rate is the rate at which you are going to earn profit or interest. And so here you can see that the 91-day treasury bills of the Bank of Ghana or the government of Ghana is 13.32% currently. 13.32%. And this is the annual yield. So this is the annual interest that this amount will yield. The, the 10,000 will yield. So it's 13.32. That's within one year. And so you break it down and then you can find out what amount it will yield within 91 days so that is a quarter so we just divide the 13.32 percent by four and that gives you 0 0.033 for each of the 91 days period and so the expected interest is you multiply this rate by this principal and that gives you this amount and so you add this interest to this principal and that gives you this total amount after 91 days so basically if you invest 10,000 Ghana cities into government of Ghana T bills for 91 days at this interest rate you are going to earn 333 on top of your 10,000 within 91 days and so your total output is going to be 10,333 and so we are doing it over a period of time so we want to assess we want to analyze and see that within one year what profit will i make at this rate 
over this interest and so you see the interest is also going to be yielding interest that is a good thing about t bills and so this is the initial principal that's ten thousand that's the initial capital you are putting in and then at the end of the 91 days the ten thousand becomes ten thousand three hundred and so that becomes the new principal for the second term which is the next 91 days so instead of the ten thousand you are putting in the ten thousand plus the interest the ten thousand yielded over the first 91 days that is what we call roll over so you roll it over and then the interest is also yielding interest while the main principal is also yielding interest at the same rate and so the next 91 days which is the second 91 days you are going to earn 344 so you realize that an additional 11 ghana cities has come on top of the initial one it means that 333 has also yielded another 11 ghana cities so you see that is the compounding effect the interest also yielding interest so at the end you see that you are going to earn this amount okay so you add this principal to this interest that you have earned and that gives you 10,677 at the end of the second 91 days so that is now 80 182 days so that is six months and then you reinvest again so this one becomes your new principal you reinvest again at the rate here and then you earn another interest of 355 you add that to this and that gives you this total and then you reinvest again everything which is now the new principal 11,032 at this thing interest uh, interest rate and then you earn 367 on this and so you add and then you get 11,399 so you will start with 10,000 and for the four times you have reinvested your principal and the interest you are earning 11,399 now take note that we are only using the whole numbers here we didn't use the the pesos that were on top so we just use the whole number so if we round it off maybe it will be around 11,400 and something so you see that you have earned 1,399 on top of this but if you calculate uh, initially and uh, you use this one alone on the principal you'll be earning 3,000 1332 but because the interest was also rolled over it has given us 1399 as the interest or profit on top of the 10000 all right so basically that is how you calculate it so let's go so this is the first year of four quarters investment and reinvestment and so you continue so we are looking at a two year duration which is quite substantial enough to see the difference between the profitability of the 91 days so this is the second year of the 91 day t bill so this is the closing balance that we had from the first year 11,399 that becomes our opening principle for the second year and so we continue like that and then you see it until the second year which is the eighth quarter and that one becomes 12,993 it means if you invested 10,000 Ghana cities at the rate of 13.32 percent per annum in the 91 days treasury bill for two years at the end of the two years it means every 91 days it will mature and roll over and then another 91 days it will mature and roll over at the end of the two years or the second year you will end 12,993 for 10,000 investment for two years at this interest rate so that is it for 91 days let's look at the 182 days the same amount and then we see which one is more profitable all right so here we are in for the tenure is 182 days year one and two so here then 182 days is six months so it means you can only roll over once first six months and then the second six months it will be one year that's why you see that we have only four periods here so the principal is the same 10,000 but then the the interest rate here it is not 13.32 it's 13.82 so it should be 13.82 so the longer the tenure the higher the interest rate that tends upon that and so this is supposed to be 13.82 all right so there's a little mistake here 13.82 
maybe let's correct it and come back and look at it so it's supposed to be 13.82 okay all right so it's 13.82 so you see that the interest rate here for the six months or the yes the six months or the 182 days is 0 0.0691 instead of the 91 days on which was 0 0.0333 so you see that this one has a higher return rate because of the longer duration okay so here we go through the same process and that is our opening principal or the capital we are investing 10,000 again and then at this rate of return 0 0.0 six nine one so the profit you are going to get over the first period of 182 days is 691 so we add that to the principal here and that gives us 10,691 and then so that's six months and then we reinvest so this becomes our new principal for the second period for the first year and so we reinvest this amount which is the 10,691 at this rate again and then we are going to end this interest of 738 we add it to the 10,691 and then that gives us 11,429 for the first year now let's go back and you compare so look at the figure here 11,429 so let's go back. So 11,429 Ghana for the first year of the 182 days tenure. Now compare it with the end of the first year of the 91 days tenure. You see that the same first year we earn 11,399 and then for the 182 days we earn 11,429. So we see that the 182 days is performing better for the first year and let's consider the second year here this is the 91 days the second year yields 12,993 but when you come down here you see that by the end of the second year which is the fourth period we have earned 13,062 which is still higher than the 91 days treasury bill period tenure so you see that tentatively the 182 days is more profitable than the 91 days in the short term i don't know maybe what we're doing for five or ten years period it may be or it may not but i've done a template in excel which i want to run you through quickly and then maybe you can copy it and then you can just put in any figure so here is a template you can see here so you can see that there's a 91 days tenure the principal the interest rate at 13.32 the expected interest and then the total amount this one i've done it over a four-year period a four-year duration so you realize that the first year so here because we are using excel and then all the the decimal places are rounded off you see that this one is slightly higher than the 11,999 so it is rounded off so we have 11,400 and then this one too goes up a little bit etc and so here you can see it and then i'll look at so this is for four years that's for the 91 days tenure four years and so it means when you put in 10,000 ghana cities at the end of four years it will become 16,890 that is for the 91 days uh, tenure let's look at 182 days tenure so here you see that every two times it makes one year so one two three four four years again at the end of the fourth year you see that this one becomes seventeen thousand and sixty seven as again sixteen thousand eight hundred so even the longer duration you see that the 182 days treasury bill is still doing better so your candid opinion if you want to invest in treasury bills which one is more profitable is it a 91 days t bill or the 182 days three bill that is more profitable well you can see the figures here for yourself and then you can see that the 182 days seems to be more profitable it's only that the maturation period is longer and so the interest that is then on it is also higher and so the profitability is better than the 91 days t bill so that is just for you to take note of and this one is an excel template so you can easily 
manipulate and put in any figure at all if we go back let's say i cancel and then i go to the raw data here now we can remove the the ten thousand and decide to put in any figure there let's say we are putting in five thousand instead so you just be checking you see that all the figures here are going to change because it's a template and all the formulas are calculated already so once you have this template you can just try with any figure or any amount you want to start with as your principal so let's try with five thousand so once we enter you see that all the figures change and so you can see that from the five thousand for the four years it is going to become eight thousand four hundred and forty five so if we change let's say where well, somebody says me i want to just invest one thousand so what do i do so you can put in the one thousand and then you enter and there you can see so it's a very good template with the formulas done in there and then if you want to know more about how to do that template you can leave me a comment and then i'll do a video and show you or i'll give you a link i'll do one and give you a link and then you can easily download it and then you can paste it on your laptop or anywhere and then you can use it to manipulate so that is it you can see that the 182 day treasury bill seems to perform better than the 91 days so if you have any intention of investing in treasury bills and you are thinking of should i go for the 91 days or the 182 days you have seen that in terms of profitability the 182 days seem to perform better than the 91 days so thanks for watching i'll see you in subsequent videos subscribe to the channel we do educative tutorials on personal finance and investment and you will never regret you subscribe to this channel turn on the notification share our videos like them god bless you i'll see you in the next video